Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I decided to make some spring rolls today. I have a lot of instant ramen, instant noodles in my pantry and I thought why not make some of them into spring rolls. So I have two momofuku noodles. One of them is the spicy soy flavor and the other one is the tingly chili flavor. And then I also have an indomie hot and spicy flavor. And the last one is a plain instant ramen no seasoning whatsoever. I also added some seaweed and imitation crab. But first, let's cue the cooking montage. tell which noodle is in what spring roll um, so it's not gonna be much of a surprise but let's start with this one I think this one is the indomie one mm. it's so good with the imitation crab Oh, it's nice and spicy too. That was amazing. Let's do let's do the top one. Oh gosh. I think this is the spicy soy flavor. Mmm. I'm gonna try that hack where you put cheese inside the spring roll and then you fry it and the cheese becomes melty. That'd be so yummy. I'm really scared to try the plain one, mainly because I know it's not gonna taste that good because <laughs> it doesn't have any seasoning. But let's eat it anyways. It's not as bad as I thought. But it kind of just tastes like nothing. But the crab and the seaweed helps. I'm so tempted to eat this with some chili oil. But I won't. See how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Alright, let's try the tingly chili wavy noodles. Oh, actually, um, so my last little bits of instant noodles that I had, the indomie and the two momofuku noodle flavors, I decided to mix it all into one spring roll. And this is it. So let's see how all the flavors taste together. <laughs> Wow. 
Wow, that's a whole lot of flavor going on. It's quite spicy too because of the chili noodles and the indomie. That was an experience. Would I mix all three flavors again? Probably Ooh. not. I think it's better to just enjoy each flavor by itself. We got the tingly chili wavy noodles. If you notice the angle of the camera keeps changing, that's because my battery keeps dying. So it's taken me like an hour to eat these spring rolls because I keep having to wait for my camera to finish charging. But I'm too impatient, so I don't wait until it's fully charged. Anyways, our last four spring rolls are the four flavors. So I'm gonna start with the plain one just to get it out of the way. Yeah, I don't really hate it. I think this would taste really good with chili oil. The imitation crab gives the spring roll a hint of sweetness, which is great because these noodles do not have any seasoning. All right, next, spicy soy. I really like the spicy soy noodles as a spring roll. It was quite delicious. Okay, so I have the indomie left and the chili noodles. <laughs> I think I'm gonna eat the tingly chili noodles first. My camera died again. But this is the last roll that we have. This is the Indomie. Mm. Out of all four flavors that I used, I think the Indomie tastes the best as a spring roll. Last bite. And with that, everything is gone. I definitely didn't use all the noodles that I cooked. I have some left over. I just thought it'd be way too many spring rolls for me to eat if I used all the noodles I cooked. Final thoughts. Surprisingly, I didn't really like the tingly chili noodles in the spring roll. I think it's just because the noodles were thicker and wider than the other noodles. I feel like thinner noodles taste better as a spring roll. But that's just my opinion. The imitation crab and the seaweed, absolutely delicious in the spring rolls. And I definitely got my spring roll craving out of the way. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. 
Let me know if you've ever made spring rolls using your favorite instant noodles. Um, and what do you put in those spring rolls? Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!